<laughs> I have indeed, Tristan. In golden light, the beauty that is the zebra. Look at that. Wonderful, wonderful view of the zebra. <laughs> well, there we go. Chitty chatty Meg, just for you, I've managed to find some animals. And, um... <laughs> It's actually wonderful, wonderful light on him now. Lovely to see a herd of zebra. Enjoying the grass. There were a few impala around here too that moved off. But the zebra seem very relaxed and happy with us. They might even move a bit closer. But look at that wonderful golden light on them at the moment. so peaceful there. There's some hornbills calling in the distance. I can hear the zebra moving through the grass and also hear them grazing. Listen, let's see if we can hear it. Hear those sounds, wonderful sounds of the bush as these zebra move past us. Mary, Mary, you say this is so pretty. It is indeed. Wonderful to see a group of zebra like this, and especially in this golden light. Some oxpeckers sitting on them too. There we go, you can actually see a few oxpeckers on the... There's some young oxpeckers, those ones with the darker beaks, those are juveniles, and then the adults with the bright red bulls or beaks, the red-billed oxpecker. This is very pleasant, wonderful, really, really, very, very nice, and so peaceful. Well, maybe our luck is changing a little bit. Now, Michelle, you asked if zebra in the same family have similar stripes. Yes, Michelle, the, the zebra in this group, for example, all have black and white stripes. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't resist, Michelle, I apologize. No, but on a serious note, Michelle, every zebra has got a unique stripe pattern. So it's just like our fingerprints. They are all, all completely different and unique. So no, they won't, they won't look, sim I mean, they'd look similar in terms of them being black and white, yes. And, and the shadow, you can see that shadow stripe between the black and white stripes. Um, but no, the, in terms of them being similar or looking the same, no, every, every zebra has a unique stripe pattern. They are all different. And what I find so fascinating is when these youngsters, when these youngsters um, are born, uh, the young zebra, they can recognize their, their adults or their, their parents, the mother especially, immediately. Have a look over here. Sorry, Craig. While the zebra move through, there's a troop of baboons that have just joined us. So as I was saying, just with those zebra, the young foals are able to recognize their mothers immediately after birth. And they can recognize them in a herd of zebra. Their pattern is embedded in their memory, so they know exactly which of their... The, or who is their mother and look at that a troop of baboons that's a big male it looks like ah wow. <laughs> there we go we, we've and um, we caught a glimpse of and i think it might be the same troop this morning caught a glimpse of them 
moving not far from this area. That's why I say I think it's the same troop. They're possibly heading back towards the trees that they sleep in during the day. And I'm assuming it might be close to the Mulwati drainage. We're not too far from there. In the big trees, maybe the jackalberries that are around there. The troop of baboons do like those big trees. They feel safe up there and that's where they'll rest for the night. So I think that's exactly where these baboons are headed to. Been foraging for the day, moving through the bush, and now they are heading back. Isn't that great? We haven't seen baboons for a while. See, and as I was saying, it looks like our luck is changing. Animals are starting to come out and pop out near us.